All right, here for Shea Geeks, game one, we are playing uh, against, uh, don't know yet, we're going to find out. Uh, so I'm playing um, Titan Breach, modern game one, so let's see what our hand is. Um, we are on the uh, draw, uh, so I've got Cinder Glade, Mountain, Wooded Foothills, Nisa, Great Turn 1, so I think this is a keep, I've got a mix of ramp, I've got a threat with Summoner's Pact, um, I need a little bit more juice, uh, hopefully we can get something, let's see what we're playing against, so I'm going to keep this, so maybe Infect, oh no, we're playing against Affinity, alright, cool, uh, tough matchup, better than Infect though, uh, so let's uh, play the foothills, get a stomping ground, we'll take a little bit of damage, but we'll use Nisa and see if we can get something um, spectacular here. Uh, so uh, I guess we're going to have to take that mountain. Chalice of the Void uh, would have been great against Affinity, but a little slow right now. Good if it was in our starting hand with the Simon Spirit Guide, but what can we do? All right, let's see what's the next play. All right, Steel Overseer. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, Steel Overseer packs a bunch. Uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on each artifact creature you control. So that's going to pump up his guys quite a bit. All right, so I've got the choice to play my Farseek or the Tribe Elder. I'm thinking next turn he'll activate this, probably play something to activate it to pump up his guys. So I'll take the damage. So here, I'm going to Farseek. Uh, we'll get another Stomping Ground, pump up on those mountains. All right, let's see what he does. His turn. Ooh, Master of Ethereum. So this is a big guy, equal to the amount of artifacts he controls, and other artifacts get plus one, plus one. And now he's going to steal Overseer, I bet. Yep. And I'll take the two damage. So the more he plays his artifacts, the more uh, painful this is going to be. Uh, so now we're going to use the Tribe Elder, because I'm going to have to block that Master of Ethereum. Uh, nothing else to play, so we're just going to move on. Alright, Ornithopter, not so bad. Oof, another Overseer, this is going to hurt. And what's, ouch, so three Overseers. So if, if I can't get past next turn, like, I am totally screwed the pooch. Um, nothing I can do here um, to save myself through this. So what do I need? I'm going to have... Five mountains after I block with my tribe elder to get my fifth and play a sixth one. So I could pack for a titan. That's not going to do me much. I can kill one thing, which would be that steel overseer that he attacked with. I don't think that was a good idea. Probably should have pumped up his guys. All right, so we'll block here. We'll search. Get a mountain. Maximize on that. Alright, so um, what I need is really a through the breach to get me through this. I think if I do that, I'll get two, I'll be able to get my Titan and uh, probably wreck a lot of things here. So let's see what I draw. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Alright, so we got the through the breach. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to breach. Uh, pack for my Titan first, then I'll Breach. Um, so let's see here. Um, breach the Titan in, so through the Breach will allow me to play my Titan, give it haste. It'll die at end of turn, however, but I'll be able to use my Titan trigger to go get two Valakits, attack, and pretty much get two more mountains to wipe the board. So I'm thinking I'll have four Valica triggers. So two mountains will come into play. I'll have four Valica triggers. We can go one, two, three overseers. And I guess I can take away the signal pest. If 
But my opponent has no more cards in their hand, so this is looking really, really good for me right now. Uh, so four triggers off the Valakit. Uh, so Steel Overseer, Steel Overseer, Steel Overseer, and the Signal Pest, exactly. So I want to make sure I get this perfectly right. Start hitting those triggers, wiping the board. I can't believe I'm coming out of this. This is absolutely nuts. Uh, he had me next turn if I didn't pull that through the breach. All right, so does he take the damage? Probably. All right. Uh, so now I can play a land. I'll play a mountain. Get two more triggers. I'll target him and we'll just get... Yeah, might as well get rid of the uh, Master of Ethereum here. Uh, leaving him with a Soul Ornithopter. That uh, won't be able to do much. Well, pretty much took care of business here. We'll pass the turn now since I got nothing much to do. There goes my Titan. All right, let's see what he's got. So he's got a zero two. Can't do anything there. Uh, so he's gonna attack with his Ink Moth. Uh, so infect damage. He's gonna try and take me out that way since it's the only damage that he can do to me. All right, so that I can take, no problem. Nine life. Now I gotta pay my pack, so I can play my wood fill uh, to get rid of the ink moth and put on some pressure. Uh, what's great here is that it kills a non-creature permanent, and if ever it dies, so combo with uh, through the breach, it comes back and I can kill another non-land permanent. Helps me clear the board of blood moons and things in the future, but I'm not gonna have enough mana this turn because I gotta waste some green ones. And I love MTGO just for the fact that I never forget my pack triggers, which I always do uh, when it comes to um, Paper Magic, so this is great. So I'll play my Bloodstained Mire, which is a double lightning bolt uh, for the moment. Um, okay, Blink Moth. So here what he's going to do is attack, give his Ink Moth Nexus a plus one, plus one. I don't think I'm going to do anything here. I can afford to take the Infect damage, plus he's got no cards in hand, and Affinity. Well, they don't play any pump spells, so I'm good there. Alright. Pumps it up. And here we go. So, uh, hopefully I draw some juice here. And uh, we can take care of business. So either a fetch line or through the breach is excellent. So let's calculate this. If I through the breach my wood fill, we can kill the ink moth. Um, that does six damage. I still haven't played a land this turn. So what I can do is take out his ornithopter. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, get two Valakid triggers, I'll do him three, take out the Ornithopter. Yes, we'll accept those triggers. Thank you. Uh, now let's through the breach. I'll do him six damage, we'll bring him to four. And then I'll have six uh, damage from the two Valakid triggers uh, for the game. Alright. And he's got no cards in hand, so this is definitely an epic match. I can't believe I pulled through here, pulled the right cards at the right time. Uh, off in the case, let's fetch. Boom, there goes my two Valakid triggers, dealing him six damage, bringing him to negative two. All right, there's game one. What an epic match coming back out of that. So I'm um, going to do a deck tech, give you guys an idea of uh, what my deck does and how it performs. Catch you later.